Uh, motto running on nanowatts power sub microwatt range suspension by two magnets and um, it is balanced that the force to the top magnet is very small coil is 35 kilo ohms circuit with two transistors and it runs from a crystal battery aluminum carbon and uh, gypsum I have copied circuit designed by Theodore Pali on YouTube it has very huge resistor 30 mega ohms or maybe 50 60 and uh, high resistance coil and uh, can get uh, down to one microwatt of current here is my assembly on the breadboard and uh, there is um, multimeter measuring voltage across one kilo ohm resistor so one uh, millivolt it is one micro amp and we have power supply 0 0.6 volts so we are below microwatt uh, with this motor and uh, it's possible because i use a coil from a relay which has 35 kilo ohms resistance the circuit uh, operates like this we have uh, length slow induction pulses and on top of them there is rectangular uh, time when the uh, circuit uh, is accelerated by the coil the pulse motor is supported at the top and the force is adjusted by a screw on the bottom is another magnet to compensate the forces. This is test to see if we can get sub uh, microwatt motor. Now it is uh, 300 nanowatts. We have induction pulses and on top the transistor is open. The push by the coil is really visible. No, it was not enough. We lost um, induction. It's not boosting anymore. The circuit did not work from 0.5 volts because transistors don't open <coughs> from such low voltage. So I needed 0.6 volts. Current is maximum 1.5 microamps. Here we have power uh, 0.6 volts times 1.5 microamps. We have 900 nanowatts. And this is now stable. So I got nanowatt motor. If the coil were energized full 100% of time, we would get 0.6 volts divided by 35 kilo ohms, 17 microamps of current. Now I will try to run it from atmospheric electricity. This uh, rectifier bridge with uh, transparent diodes did not work. They act as photo cells. Switch back to yeah, 220 volt uh, rectifier. Running from 50 Hz um, with capacitively coupled uh, electricity and uh, when the circuit is operating there should be a jump in a current. If there is no jump then magnets are moving too slowly to start the circuit. We are about 1, one microampere current. Running pulse motor on antenna, 10 meter of wire and uh, ground connection. When the rotor is turning, we have 0 0.5 volts across 10 microfarad capacitor. If the rotor stops, then this voltage increases and uh, from it, it is possible to see that motor is running, that the voltage is not like 1 volt, but on the very minimum. Of course it would be nicer to have a longer wire and more current. So yeah, I have 10 microfarad capacitor with low discharge. Voltmeter is producing 0 0.1 microamp discharge current. Its internal resistance is 10 mega ohm input resistance. Actually from half volt uh, the circuit would stop going so i need to hold tweezers at the ac port and act as bigger antenna and now the circuit runs happily 
at 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts. Notice that circuit is like a generator. If I blow on it, I can get about 1 volt. Flip the coil uh, direction and it also looks like it's gonna stop get slower and the voltage climbs. And now it stopped and went backwards. So with 10 meter wire it is not enough. But if I touch the antenna connection then it is enough. Then so we get um, 0.6 microvolts. So. This coil from a relay has amazingly high resistance of 35 kilo ohms. Put a solar panel from solar rocker, flower, and it's producing too much uh, voltage. We have uh, yeah, too long pulses, so I have to dim it by hand, then it's okay. Stone battery, problem with too much voltage is easily solved by a resistor in series, 0.7 volts. This is the correct uh, pulse diagram. The pulse should come in the second part and push away the magnet from the coil. Relays from AliExpress had uh, 35 kilo ohms with red coil and 17 kilo ohms with blue coil. The size is the same. Works on room light, levitated at one side. This is bicycle spike. End was ground and then polished. Adjustable force. This is screw, can move this magnet. That the force on glass plate is very small and then it oscillates long time. In this arrangement is no problem with balancing. Screw allows uh, to adjust the upper magnet that uh, rotor uh, almost jumps up so the force uh, on the glass is very small. We'll try to make a new spin down record. Rotor spins slowly and does not like to stop. Closing energy quite slowly, 16 minutes, 17 minutes. It stopped. 17 and a half minutes. Now the motor is swinging back and forth. About half ten. Small swinging. Twenty minutes from start. Twenty one minute. I could try use um, sapphire glass from phone screen or from watches. I want to go home. Twenty two minutes. Motion practically stopped at 23 minutes. Trying to see difference is Gorilla Glass support. 
from broken foam. Stop after nine minutes. You can run with better balanced rotor. We are at 13 minutes. So that's it. 14 minutes. Suspension at the top. There is some wobble visible, which will decrease the speed and the fast speed. Top suspension advantage is that dust falls down and does not accumulate. Port at the top looks quite good. Probably we will get 15 minutes. Advantage of slow motion is that there is also little friction. And if one can store energy in capacitors and throw rotor slowly, then get good energy efficiency long running times. <laughs>